Welcome to Central Maine. I'm Bob Noonan and we're going to be doing a video on bottom edge mink trapping. There's a lot of different ways to trap for mink. One of the problems though is that when the weather deteriorates in November, like it does here in Maine and a lot of the northern states, it's really difficult to keep the sets operating. And the bottom edge set is on the bottom of streams where the mink are hunting and it stays operational no matter how bad the weather gets. It'll catch mink during floods, and it'll catch mink when there's ice on the stream. It catches mink no matter what is going on weather-wise. All you need is a 110 corner bear of any make and a piece of wire, and that is it. You feel under here, you can almost feel a groove shaped like a 110 corner bear. The important thing to get through your head is that we're making blind sets underwater that are very similar in structure to what you would above water. Now, you're looking for something that blocks his access. He can swim all through that cove, but then he's got to go out around that point. Very crucial to find that point. You can be a foot on either side and you're going to miss the mink. But what's crucial is the right bank structure in the exact specific right location. So I'm going to repeat that over and over again. To the bank, and I'm going to walk along here and evaluate this and tell you why I'm not setting up here. There's several points here. There's just no room for a corner bear. Very soupy in here. You can shove your foot way up under. Not a good location. I reach down. I can feel with the point of the stabilizer the tip of my toe. I push it in until the stabilizer hits the bottom. That's all there is to it. And then I'll just wire it off here. That's here. I would reject this particular brook. Uh, mink will swim through the culvert. And if there's a point like this one, right here, that mink is going to come around this corner. That mink is going to come out over the top here. And right by this point, there's a point right here, a slot right there, perfect for a 110 corner bear. Every time you get a rain that results in a water rise of even an inch, you'll have rats moving and all your traps will be plugged again with rats if you have any kind of rat population. Uh, some of the streams, uh, you wouldn't even think there's a rat that lives on them. And you'll catch rats in these sets, in these bottom edge sets. You poke into the water a little bit here, you're swimming along the top. And then you dive. And you're going to start hunting along the edge of that bank. And you're looking left. You're looking right, you're looking for frogs, fish, muskrat diggings, and you look up ahead and there's a point right in your way. And there's a trap there, but you don't know that. That's just a bundle of twigs. So you get closer and closer and you decide you're gonna hug the bank. And you get up to this point and whap, lights out. Great place for a set right there. Anytime you have a, a vertical wall, a long straight run like this, you got a chance to nail those mink. Now, here's what they're eating down there. This mink was obviously carrying this frog when he got caught. And I've had this happen more than once. I'm sure they take some fish and rats down there, but I suspect frogs are a major underwater food source, especially after freeze up. Any mink coming along here is gonna have to go out around that rock. And that's exactly what he did. You can see him here, I'll haul him out of the water. Nice big male by the looks of it. This is a, a really good example of a bottom edge set for otter. We're at that otter location and there is a tail. 
floating out there in the middle. It's not a beaver tail, it's too deep for it to be anything but an otter. Uh, here's the point that the trap was set on. This is a 280. I love these things for otter. They're much better, in my opinion, than a 220. It just wax them. Uh, this is a good suitcase. Nice otter. The bottom bed sets pretty effective on them. And then a freeze. This is very typical of what happens in Maine. You get a week or so of good weather, and then it just disintegrates. A lot of rain, and then freezing, and then snowing. And these sets are still functional. Hopefully there'll be a mink or two in them today. You can see the holder right there. And there's the mink. That trap sat there. Uh, it's been there for a month. And that mink just got caught. These traps are all empty. Three, three days ago, and uh, they're really starting to show up under the ice with this weather. And that, in a nutshell, is the bottom edge mink set. It's very simple to make. Uh, once you get the location down, it's very effective, and it works no matter how bad the weather gets, right into the winter, under ice and snow. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you catch a mink.